Hello everybody, we're back to installing more stuff on the caravan. Sorry it's so sunny on my face. This is the Atom Power 2500 watt pure sine wave inverter. A peak power straight from the side of the unit, 4900 watts. That's the big dog. So you can run your aircon and stuff like that off that. That'll run two and a half thousand watts constantly for the rest of your life. As long as your battery can keep up. I know I already got a big battery system because I'm amazing like that. This one here, very simply, we're going to run a positive and a negative power straight to the battery. I like to fuse the positive side, right? It's nice to have a fuse on it just for in case moments. But this does have internal circuit breakers and all that kind of safety gear already in it. It comes with the unit, positive wire, negative wire. The shorter the better. We've got a remote cable, a remote that's going to go inside the van to turn it on and off. Got a couple of little dingle dangles that's going to go over the two thingamabobbies. The template. As if you might have seen some of my last video, we've been doing the heater and the shower and all this other crap. This one here is going to sit straight on top of my battery box inside here. Just like that, tucked in there, out of the way. Doesn't look beautiful? Then I'm going to run a cord from that inside the van. So anything that we want to use from the inverter, I'm going to have a cord inside that you want to plug toaster in, you want to plug your phone charger, you want to plug the aircon, anything gets plugged into that. Basically an extension cord. Keep it nice and easy. I'm not wiring this thing up through the whole van. I don't know. I'm not an electrician, mate. I just want to make it work. Look at that. Conjured on my wiring. So professional. Because where I drilled the hole, through my battery box down to the battery. It's um, a little bit sharp edges yet. So a bit of conduit on the wiring to save it all. I'm gonna go and bolt that up. We'll check this out, Danny Cakes. My beautiful battery in here. Yeah, I undid it all. So everything's happening. Got wiring going everywhere. Got some more wiring to go. There's a lot of a lot of stuff. I think last time I talked about the battery, I also want to uh, get like a junction box from the battery. Because there's a lot of different fuses. Like I've got five different fuses going to the battery. Yeah, anyway, inverter video, let's go. God. She does every video, I can't edit that edit out. Edit that out. <laughs> what I'm saying. Like. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. All right, I love you, Danica. Thanks for editing my video for me. <laughs> Ooh. So sexy. Is that a done? I, don't, I can't hear the ending. And yeah. sing. Yes, I've finished. I've wired that to the battery now. I've popped a couple of screws in there. I pop it up, 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 I've popped a couple of screws in the unit so that's nice and secure now ain't going anywhere now i'm going to run this little um oh, the little remote board just to give it a little uh, test because i want to know what it does now i've turned on the actual system here just to have a little go make sure it all turned on make sure the lights were green so dc uh green status it means it's all all working like it should like i said i'm just going to run a uh, extension cord out of here and then into the into the inside up through the cupboard same place i put the switch i'm i'm thinking that's going to be about it. Then it's just this video is just going to be about giving it a test run. I want to see how this unit compares to my old inverter that I had and this battery system as well. I really want to see how it goes running the aircon. It's coming into winter now, so it's not like that important. But hell, like that's pretty cool. I want to see what it can do. All right, so we have this little unit plugged in. This is what I was actually hoping for. There's no like light that sits on all the time. I used to have the King's inverter and the light was always on on the remote, so you couldn't leave it anywhere because it was so bright so i had to have that in the cupboard all the time but this doesn't leave any any um power light on at all so this is going to be inside next to our bed somewhere turn press and hold turns on it's turning on the inverter behind me as well then we've got on that screen i'm hoping you can see that 14 volts input with a 230 volt output right now i'm drawing zero watts because we're not doing anything i don't know if i can scroll through any menus i don't think i can i think that's just is what it is but it's going to tell me the wattage that we're drawing out of the unit as well which is super good um so i can sort of watch what's going on especially with the um see being able to see the dc uh, voltage as well from that it's a little bit of a battery control system there's not much going on in this van it's pretty basic bit of an upgrade let's give it a go inside now i'm already running the atom power solar controller and dc to dc charger in the cupboard here which has been working perfect now for a probably about a month so I'm very happy with that. This is what my cupboard's become. This is where I keep my clothes. So instead of keeping my clothes in here, like I pretty much can't hang anything up because I don't want that getting too hot, being smothered by clothes or anything. So I just put all my clothes on the floor here. I don't want to take away from my retro boho caravan by putting electronics on the wall. So if I keep that in the cupboard as well, what's one more thing in this cupboard? Fire out, I could just wire that PowerPoint up with the, with that. Like I don't use that PowerPoint for anything. 
So I could, I could, I could bring the wiring in, run it into that power point. Look at me. This is, this is some mind, mind thinkings and all that, you know. See, if I do put it into that power point, I will get an electrician to do that for me because you need an electrician to do anything to do with wiring. Okay. So don't do your own wiring, electrician. Forget that PowerPoint. I actually bought a new PowerPoint. Can't remember why. I think I was going to make one of the PowerPoints in here a single to a double to run the aircon, but I ended up doing it differently. So I already had one. So I'm going to get my electrician mate to wire that up real quick. Yep. All right. Thanks, Bob. See you later, mate. Yep. All good. All right. Now I just have my electrician mate. All right. Come around. Wire in that PowerPoint for me. Look at that. Beautiful, mate. So we've got a brand spanking new PowerPoint that's going to be running off the inverter only. Then I've got this unit installed up here. Mate, look at this guy. Whole cupboard full of electronics. Well, the whole caravan's really full of electronics. I'm just mucking around. And your whole house is full of wiring. Oh, this, this wiring, it's perfectly fine. I just wish I could just like cover it or make it all look pretty. Hang on. Ha! <laughs> Done. I'm going to go and tidy that wiring up in the front boot. Cable tie some wires out of the way, make it all pretty, put some conduit around any sharp edges that we have the wiring running through, and then we're gonna do some test runs. Done, we're good to go. See that bunch of wire in there? They give you so much. So you can run that remote, like probably anywhere in your caravan you wanted, really. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, so that's all plugged in, everything's plugged up. We're gonna go inside, put a test run. Here's that extension cord I was talking about. Don't mind the mess in here right now. Um, I've just been installing something where I had to take the beds apart and muck around over there. This bed I took inside because mum came and stayed with me. Mum needed somewhere to stay. Over on the bench behind me, I got a full kettle. Kmart, cheapest kettle you can get. Probably uses crap tons of electricity, right? So I'm gonna take my extension cord. Oh mate, one-handed extension cords. Put it in there. Brand new PowerPoint. Wow, feel that mate, it's like a new house. Then I'm gonna turn it on. All right, that's on. Everything's good. 13.5 volts, zero watt output so far. So I'm gonna click this on now, but I'm gonna walk back over and turn it on because I just wanna see, I wanna be over here in case I gotta turn anything off, which I shouldn't, but turned it on. Mate, I can hear the fan on the inverter going. Yeah, right, listen to that. The inverter's doing its thing. The, the, the fan on the King's one was heaps louder than that, actually. And it's good that it's outside. We have 1900 watts ripping out of that. Still got 12.8 volts. It doesn't have that little reading that I liked, that I used to see, like you could run it for this many hours before your battery died. But that doesn't know how big my battery is. So anyway, that's not a proper battery control management thingy. And nor do I really want to fit one because they're bloody annoying. So, kettle's doing its thing. It's getting its power. Oh, this unit's doing all of its fan noise. No, uh, no red lights or anything. Kettle should be very close to being done. I can hear it boiling. We're almost there, guys. Come on. This is going to click any second. Come on, kettle. Come on, mate. Oh, look at it go. It's boiling. Oh, yeah, you love it. You love it. Uh, click and click. Click. I've never watched a boil. <laughs> I've never watched a kettle boil before. I just sat there waiting for it. No, that's a long time. Well, that was full to the maximum brims. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. Click. Bro, come on. Three, two, one, go. Bro, how bored do you want to be? There you go. Now the inverter, boom, down to zero. There you have it, guys. The inverter works. Works perfect. Very happy. Um, we've got some trips coming up. You're going to see us testing this thing out a lot more. Um... We're probably going to take the coffee machine with us on the next trip because it was, I don't know, it's nice to have like really, really, really nice coffees because the coffee, you know, like the proper coffee machine, oh, you can't beat it, mate. You can't beat it. Alrighty, thanks for watching me install the Atom Power Inverter from Vic Off Road and we'll see you later. We're going camping.